Welcome to our episode of Barb and Sardis, and it's time to tackle the final short of How to Train Your Dragon with Dragons, Dawn of the Dragon Racers. And I'll admit, I don't think I can give this a particularly fair shake, because I just am not a big fan of sports. Like, every now and again, I'll sit down and watch, you know, bits and pieces of the game when I got nothing better to do, um, you know, looking after the dogs for my parents, but otherwise, I tend to not want to watch it. You know, I'd rather sit down and watch Dr. Pole or Forged in Fire, so I don't think it's really the quality of the content, you know, in the final short that hurts it so much as what it's about for me. I mean, from what I remember, this is sort of like an all-the-road episode from the TV series, you know. Not particularly great, but it's passable. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't really have high praise for this. I mean, it's based on something I just wasn't that interested in to begin with, like the origins of dragon racing. Like, I mean, it seems like a natural outgrowth of having dragons that you'd get competitive and want to race them, though... I do question how uh, Hiccup could ever lose at this sport, because we seem to establish period on that Toothless is basically one of the fastest dragons alive. Um, I know part of this sport's, you know, looking for sheep and collecting them, which gets replaced, I guess, later with uh, Snotloud's Sheep Launcher, which, honestly, uh, watching that thing get tested does make me wonder just how invincible... Uh, <laughs> Gobber sheep is, because I have to assume that's the one that's, you know, getting repeatedly launched over and over and over again. I told you my sheep launcher would work. Yeah, it only took 32 tries to get it right. Bullseye! is a maniac! 30! That sheep is invincible! 31! 74! <laughs> that sheep is insane! And I have to agree, that sheep is insane to keep coming back just so Stylock can once again pull the trigger and see what happens. As one mad sheep. So, yeah, there were some bits I enjoyed, even if, you know, the overall, you know, film spent, you know, explaining the origins for a sport, I just didn't really care that much about. Until next time, then. See ya. We have two teams. The green team. Team Snortnuts. And the red team. Team Hitlegs.